Yeah, an update video. Yeah, that's what I'll do. What the hell? Um, a couple of issues, um, structural. Um, okay, YouTube's changing its channel design again, going this one channel thing for smartphones and all that kind of crap. So some of this stuff might break, but um, there was a couple of people contacted me about maybe doing this stuff, and so yeah, I'm going to set up a page so you can do that. And, you know, the stuff breaks, your link should stay working. I'll just fix it as I have to adapt to the new crap. But anyway, I, I'll get to that, you know. I'm just working on a lot of things. Working on, working on a lot of things. Um, but speaking of that, is this whole ch you know pa channel page design thing, whatnot? Um, I have been including links to 3GP files, so on the videos. So I would be just curious if people have smartphones or whatever. You know, I don't have any of this iPad crap or any of that stuff. I'm just curious if that for format's a better format or whether I should go with MP4. But, you know, I don't know enough about it. I just figured that format might be able to play without a player. So the problem is I don't want to load a player because all the free players, they buffer the videos, which means you have to wait for the whole file to load before it starts playing, which I think is sort of bogus. And I don't know whether this is going to work any better, but it seems to me if that's the format the phones are actually using, that it should be able to play the video by streaming the video. But I, who the hell knows? So, somebody who knows something about this shit, um, yeah, I, I would appreciate being elucidated. But, yeah, I will do some work on the page itself. I mean, I think it displays okay on devices, partially anyway. But I'm going to basically make it so this stuff only displays if you have a higher resolution screen. Or I think I go by resolution. It'll be easier than detecting devices. Um... Or something like that. So, content will change depending on what the browser detects you're using. Something like that. Um, you know, and so it might just end up, you might end up with just a page that has links or something like that. Depending on what happens. And, uh, which, where you're, yeah. So, anyway, I'm, I'm planning on doing that. Um, what else is news? Uh, or something else. Um... Damn, some some other technical issue. I did add some more to the um, these random things, but there's also more gaps. So I will fill in the gaps eventually. But I mean, generally speaking, it works. Let's see if I say load another if it plays one. See, it missed. Yeah, yeah got one. Lovely there day we go. in the neighborhood. <laughs> yeah, yeah see the little bar. Like Anti-natalism video. All right. Uh, so anyway, um. So yeah, yeah. So it's, it should it should be a lot better than fifty fifty. I mean, it should be more like eighty percent of the time it'll play, but you know, can't guarantee it. Got to work on it. Uh, like just so many things to do to do a few people to do it. So I also wanted to do some sort of I want to get into some sort of real debate format here. And unfortunately, people just aren't doing the the vlogger dome thing as I really wanted to create it. Um, so I'm still making the videos, adding them as you know, extending my argument into the conversations, and I'll keep doing that, I keep making these three-minute videos on these different subjects, um, but I really want to add some more, so I'm thinking of maybe having a debate thing with a $25 prize, maybe, so if somebody wants to do a Skype debate, and uh, you get the money if I cheat you in the argument, so we'll figure out some kind of penalty system, um, point system, whoever... You know, if I personally insult you and then you personally insult me, that would even out. But if I personally insult you more than you personally insult me, then I have to pay part of that money out to you. So, you know, depending on, and if I lose the debate, that would be another part of the money for a total of $25, let's say. And um, to make it interesting, I'll let um, one of the people I consider to be idiots, um, you know, in the negative column here, the Pyros, the Great Texas, and the, all these nihilist assholes. They're basically all nihilist assholes. They all don't know what the truth is. They think evolution is complicated. So, um, yeah, we'll just pick one of these guys, and if they're willing to um, uh, just point out who won the debate and whether or not I cheated enough to have to pay penalty points, um, uh, then, yeah, they'll let them decide. They can be the judge. And the only catch will be is I'll never let them be a judge again if they're assholes about it. Um, simple enough, right? 
Uh, you know, I'd, I'd like to make the price. I just, you know, I just don't got money, so I mean, I can't fuck around here. Um, but I think this might be make it interesting, right? And, and then, so I mean, they'll have incentive to be a judge because they're going to get, you know, pointed to. So you get some sort of advertising. Um, being a judge, so you know, I don't think people want to just screw that and say, "Oh, I'll never be able to be a judge again." And even if they did review videos, eventually, I'd like to pay people to do review videos of the debate and just point out where they think the good points were and the bad points, something like that. Um, but yeah, let's just do something here. We got to get something happening here because this is just way too. Um, but I mean, yeah, the conversation really, it really has gotten this stupid where apparently before I can have an argument about anything, I have to establish the fact that, uh, you know, what value is. You know, I, I really just didn't think I had to explain to the world that um, sentient creatures in pain is a bad thing. I just didn't think that was something that needed to be explained. But apparently it is. So, that's what I'll do. Um, <laughs> wow. You know, that human psychology is complete shit. You know, that we want and like things that are idiotic. Like Lamborghinis or something, or idiotic TV shows, or dumb sports games, or some other kind of crap. And it's complete crap, and we know it's complete crap, but we like it anyway. And we just can't admit that? Oh, yeah. My sensibilities are complete crap. You can't just admit it. Apparently not. Well, anyway, so that would be basically the subject. Going to be somewhere in that range about basically human beings are assholes. That's going to be my contention. You're assholes, preposterous assholes, and that you almost shouldn't be allowed to opine because you can't get beyond your stupidity and your assholery. You won't admit that you're just talking out of your subject of psychologies and you don't even know what philosophy really is which is describing reality. That's what philosophy is. Philosophy is going, hey, that's made out of wood. And it's uh, piled on top of itself and nailed together. And, you know, you detail the facts of what it is and how it functions. That's what philosophy is. Philosophy isn't just making crap up and saying, you know, it's like a river flowing through a cloud and up a shoostity doostity wormhole boostity. No, that's not what it is. It's nothing like that at all. That's complete nonsense. Shut up. All right, anyway, this isn't what I want to get to, is it? Well, I don't know. So anyway, if somebody wants to do the Skype thing, PM me at the Inmendum channel, and we'll see if we can do this debate thing or something like it. I have to figure out how to record it. I really I hate the video record it, but at least there'll be audio recordings, but I'll try to do the video thing. We'll see how it goes. It doesn't even matter, really, because even, you know, even that Magic Sandwich show, I mean, Thunderfoot's a rabbit, the other guy's just using an avatar from his webcam, talking dinosaur bullshit. Deep Art Jones is there, but he wants to look at him. So I guess you really you just need stuff moving. So I, I just, I can make my hands do the, yeah, I'll do like hand puppets for the voices. So I don't know, we'll see how it goes. Maybe somebody else who knows how to, who, who doesn't mind recording the video, can be in a, like a conference call and they won't say nothing, but they'll just record it. Maybe they could time it too. Maybe they could, maybe we'll have a time discussion too. So maybe we'll figure out a way to time it, and um, so everybody gets a fair amount of time to make their argument. Yeah, that would also be a good little fairness issue. But you know, the only downside about the time thing is if somebody says something stupid like, "Prove it, prove this no god." You know, or something else, you know, like, no, I don't have time to prove there's no God. I want to talk about something entirely different. You're retard. You, you know, and so I just used up my time to explain to the asshole that, no, that's not on the subject. And so now I've wasted my good time to talk about good stuff by having to just discount the asshole shit this asshole just brought into a conversation about something completely different. So that's the only downside of time is because sometimes you have to use more time because you have to explain to the other asshole that they're wasting time. All right. Um, yeah, well, since I'm here, I might as well do the update part here. So I did lots of good videos here. There's, some of them are really quite um, entertaining. Uh, yeah. Uh, so anyway, the Ludite videos were pretty good. So this was a answers to in minutes. So that was just some asshole who did some shit on the Drake equations, just bullshit. 
Um, Hope for Humanity. That was another, uh, that was the dentist guy. Yeah, he, you know, so I, I did a good job of ripping that a new asshole. Um, should get what you earn. This is the Ludite stuff, I think. And it, it was just awful. I mean, his video was horrible, and I, I responded to it in spectacular old in Mendham form. I mean, there was skanky cunt all over the place. I mean, they were, they were pretty, they're pretty, I mean, if you like that kind of stuff, okay? I mean, black dildos and the anus and skanky cunts and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, lots of that shit in those videos. So it was these three here before the Magic Sandwich Show video. Um, the comments, and then, you, then it bled right into gray text which was a pretty good video. And these, I think, are back on YouTube again. And then this is uh, the last two videos was just simple ones. I did the Drake Equation. I did a video... I did a video about the Pope. Kind of. But it's kind of funny because, yeah, it's almost like, you know, that video is a little bit hostile and I'm like, yeah, we should declare war. And it's like, yeah, maybe we should have declare war videos. Maybe we should talk about who we should declare war on. Because in my opinion, we're wasting all this military shit on the wrong people. There's a whole lot of people that need shooting, and I don't know whether it's fucking... I mean, the Islamic assholes are idiots, but at least they're not nihilist idiots. I mean, maybe we should kill the nihilist first. I mean, if we're going to, you know, if we're going to wipe something off the face of the earth like it's an evil virus, I think the nihilists are probably the, the, the appropriate target. But anyway, that's a whole different subject. Um, so whatever this one was, this is my last one. Rude, retarded. Oh yeah, I did an hour-long video responding to some guy who PM'd me a whole bunch of crap. And it was just that. It turned out to be just crap. I thought it was going to be more than it was, because it was so much of a comment that he PM'd me with that I said, okay, this guy's got to have something in here. So I bothered, and I made the freaking video. And it was like, I was very disappointed, because it, just, it was just... It was silly mush. Like somehow I'm implying that because I'm critical of the process of evolution, that in that statement is the implication that I'm saying evolution is an agent that has a brain and has desires and it's intending. No, I'm not saying any of that. I'm saying it's fucked that it's stupid. It doesn't have a brain. I said this a whole bunch of times. DNA doesn't have a brain. So of course it does fucked things because it's stupid. That doesn't mean it's an agent. Because you call something fucked-hearted. You can call a car fucked-hearted. I mean, anything can be fucked-hearted. Anything that behaves fucked-heartedly can be called fucked-hearted. <sighs> These people are just so stupid. So, anyway. Um, anything else? I did fix... Oh, yeah, the centering thing on YouTube. That's another issue. So, um... Well, I'm not going to load an actual YouTube video, so I'll do this one. Um, see, I run this thing um, on Grease Monkey. So if you go to the Tools section on the website, Do Not God, it's on the Tools page. But, I mean, it used to have to do the centering because YouTube centering was broken. So they fixed the centering. So I took that code out of the thing. So if you reload the... You, you won't have to if you did the linking thing. So if you have it, like, on your taskbar then it'll still work. But yeah, I mean, if you have Grease Monkey, you know, it does this thing where it automatically puts the comments over here, which is kind of nice. You know, obviously it's not all the comments, which would be even better, but I have to figure out how to do that. Um, but it definitely, the comments are on the one page it will load over here, which is just kind of convenient. Um, so yes, yeah, so that's working. I fixed it. Because it wasn't working because of the center thing, because the code I had in there to center it was breaking the page a little bit. So anyway, it's fixed, that's all I'm saying. Well, you probably know that if you're using it as a bookmark. But if you're using it as a... Probably no one's doing that, which is sort of irritating. I mean, I make these tools and nobody uses them, but... If you're using it as a Grease Monkey script, you have to re-upload the script. So you have to go to the Tools page on the website and go to the Grease Monkey link and reinstall that script. So uninstall the old one and reinstall the new one. That's the only catch with this, those scripts. The Grease Monkey scripts, I can't update them. You have to update them. So that's the only catch there. I suppose I could make them so you don't have to update them by merely linking to the script. So maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll just make a link to the script. Yeah, that might be smart. 
Okay, maybe I'll do that. Well, anyway, the old coding shit is just such a pain in the ass. Anyway, um, is that enough? I think it's probably enough. There's probably some other thing I want to... I mean, I did remember that, um, what's his face guy? What's his face guy? Well, that's really... That, that narrows it down. That's the gun with the monkey thing. This is now, how can I, Ojama oh, Flipper, but he's now Skid Row, oh, Skid Row Radio, there we go. Oh, look at that, stupid bitch who stole my four dollars, it's finally showing up with what I paid for a week ago. Okay, Till next time, we're done. Skid Row Radio left some comments saying, you know, I have to do the feed thing and all that. No, you were wrong. It was broken. Okay, anyway, next time.